Okay, so maybe if it blows out of here, our clogged sinuses, <laughs> our throats that are raspy, short of breath, watery eyes, maybe it'll all finally go away and walking to the car will be a pleasant experience oh, that again. that would be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? So imagine sweating through high school football two-a-days. Oh. Matt King's live in the studio with tonight's big story. Yeah, Don Michelle, doctors recommend healthy adults take a day off from exercise in these conditions, but not everyone's obeying that advice. This year, every athlete at all five of the high schools in the state's largest district began training for the fall campaign by gulping down giant breaths of this. It sucks right now. All these fires are just making it hard to breathe. And yeah, really coughing up a lot. Neither Austin Toretto nor Olivia Adams plays football. No coach or team mandated they sweat and itch and rasp in the smoky foothills. They elected to take this hike for fun. A lot of coughing, sneezing, mm -hmm. a lot of sneezing. Kind of yeah. makes your allergies worse. Meridian School District Coordinator of Nursing Services Kate Muldoon admitted to seeing some of those symptoms in kids attending the four elementary schools currently in session, but nothing incredibly severe. We haven't seen a whole lot of increase in kids with respiratory problems. Meridian schools and sports teams force kids with asthma or other pre diagnosed breathing issues to remain indoors. Parents may also request for their child a spot on the bench, figurative or literal. But District Athletic Director Mike Ferris said he's yet to hear many complaints from players, coaches, or parents. No, not really. If it gets to a point where we're into that red, unhealthy uh, rating on the air quality, then we're going we're gonna to make some adjustments. Valley Air neared that unhealthy for all rating Tuesday, but remained orange, sending those looking for a spot on the team or just for a spot with a view. This is kind of making it more miserable. We don't, I still go outdoors all the time. Out into a smoky afternoon, no doubt anxious for crisp fall Fridays beneath beams of light unobscured by late summer smog. Meridian asked us not to speak with players or coaches, so I spent the next hour just looking for someone, anyone exercising outdoors before I met Austin and Olivia. Normally bumping parks were just deserted today. Live in the studio, Matt King, Fox 9 on your side. Hmm.